Welcome to Traveling While Black in Seattle. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley. And welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black in Seattle. Yes, welcome back, everyone. And as a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences in and around Seattle. And we base those experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? So since we started this show, you all have been asking for a brewery episode. Which makes sense. As it seems, Seattle is such a beer city considering all the breweries around, but we wanted to test that theory and, of course, give you guys what you asked for. Yeah, but unfortunately, neither one of us are big beer drinkers. We lean more towards wine and cocktails. But lucky for us, we do have a friend that is a beer enthusiast. And just like us, he's a recent transplant to the city. Yeah, Derek is our friend, and he documents his journeys on his Instagram page, and he's visited a whole bunch of breweries in the area. So we called him up and asked him to recommend a couple of breweries that are absolutely worth checking out. Yes, yeah, so you can follow him on Instagram, at BrewBlurred. Um, but before you go to Instagram right now, watch the episode, follow him on Instagram, and as always, let us know what you think. So y'all wanted to know what's up with the breweries up here in Seattle and the surrounding area. But again, Ant and I aren't really beer connoisseurs. But since we love y'all so much, we called in an expert. Our friend Derek, who happens to be a beer expert, gave us two breweries that are definitely, absolutely worth checking out. That's right, two. One located outside of the city and one located right here in the city. Drive grade. So, since we are driving to two separate places, it wouldn't make sense to cover drive grade, plus the episode is more about the breweries. We did want to take this moment just to say that since we are visiting breweries, it's important to note the importance of knowing your limits and planning ahead for a ride, if needed. Yep, on this day, we took the ride share option. Anyway, for this episode in drive grade, we're just going to give an N.A. Level of fun. So the first spot on Derek's list was Medier, located in Woodenville. Medier translates to one's calling. And upon entering the spot, you can tell that beer is absolutely something that these guys were called to do. Medier offers a great scenery, cool merch, great food options, an absolutely friendly staff, and oh yeah, an awesome beer selection. For our visit, we will recommend the Trailblazer and Yonder Cider. The Trailblazer is Medier's flagship beer. And Yonder Cider is actually a local cider company that is woman-owned. Both taste great. Medier often holds live events and happenings that you can find out more about at their website. Great beer, dope staff. There's also another reason we really like this place. Hmm, maybe we'll come back to it later. But it was time to head to the next spot, Derek recommended. The next brewery on the list was Old Stove, located in downtown Seattle on Western Avenue. Just like Medier, Old Stove offers cool merch, great food options, an absolutely friendly staff, and you guessed it, an awesome beer selection. Compared to Medier, Old Stove's inside seating and outside seating area is a bit bigger, possibly because it is located in such a busy tourist area. Also, a little bit different from Medier is that Old Stone offers cocktails. Yeah, I had to succumb to my preference of cocktails over beer and ordered the Pink Panther. Sorry, guys. I stayed true to the mission and had the two prong. It was pretty delicious. We enjoyed both drinks while enjoying the stunning views of the sound on the beautiful day. Yep, beyond just the weather and the views, visits to both places made for a beautiful day all around. We most def recommend you all checking them both out. Thanks again to Derek for the recommendations. And again, you can follow his beer journey on his Instagram page at BrewBlurred. As for our day trips to both breweries, we give a five out of five for level of fun. 
comfortability for black people. So at both places, it was really refreshing that we saw a lot of diversity, not only in the staff that worked both establishments, but also in the patrons visiting on the day of our visits. Yep, both staffs were very welcoming, and the owner of Old Stove even made sure on his off day that we were able to get in to experience the establishment. But for Medier, the visit was really refreshing, being that it is black owned. Why is that so refreshing, you ask? Well, because Medier is the only black-owned brewery in the state of Washington. Not only does Medier hope to be the first of many black-owned breweries, but also they make it part of their mission to build a stronger community and inspire bigger dreams for all. Pretty dope. So for both places, we absolutely give a five out of five for comfortability for black people. We hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out all of our previous episodes. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our page on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our merchandise on TravelMallBlackSeattle.com. And reach out if there's anywhere you would like us to go check out. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.